we are pleased to present the history of fan anime Red Rafted, an insightful documentary series exploring the evolution of North American anime fandom. This revised series offers a comprehensive reimagining of our initial exploration, carefully crafted to provide viewers with a more engaging and informative experience. In this updated journey through anime history, we have conducted a thorough revision of our original content. Our team has meticulously refined, edited, and updated the material to enhance clarity and improve narrative flow. The result is a more accessible and compelling chronicle of anime's development in North America. To our dedicated viewers, we assure you that our commitment to weekly episodes remains steadfast. You can continue to anticipate a wealth of historical insights, intriguing artifacts, compelling narratives, and exclusive interviews that illuminate our shared passion for anime. These revised episodes are designed to cater to those who prefer an audio-focused experience, while also aiming to engage new audiences and reconnect with those who may have found our original presentation less appealing. We invite you to embark on an immersive exploration of anime history as we uncover the stories that shaped this cultural phenomenon. What is the history of fan anime about for newcomers? The early 1980s presented a markedly different landscape for anime fandom in North America compared to the present day. This series meticulously documents the evolution of a niche interest into a widespread cultural phenomenon driven by the unwavering enthusiasm and innovative spirit of its early adopters. Through a combination of archival footage, personal anecdotes, and expert interviews, we delve deep into the challenges and triumphs that defined this pivotal era in anime history. From the scarcity of accessible content to the ingenious methods fans employed to share and celebrate their beloved medium, our documentary paints a vivid picture of a fandom born from determination and creativity. As we trace the journey from obscure hobby to mainstream entertainment, Viewers will gain a newfound appreciation for the pioneers who paved the way for anime's current popularity in North America. Their stories of perseverance, community building, and cultural bridge building serve as both a testament to the power of fandom and a reminder of how far the medium has come. Join us as we explore the fascinating transformation of anime from a little-known import to a significant force in North American pop culture. Our journey begins in the remote town of Hazleton, a community of merely 100 residents, where William Chow spent his formative years isolated from the world of Japanese animation. As we trace his path from this secluded enclave to the vibrant metropolis of Vancouver, we witness the genesis of a passion that would not only shape his life, but also contribute significantly to the burgeoning anime fandom in North America. Despite relocating to the more populous Prince George, Chow's early years remained devoid of substantial exposure to anime. It wasn't until his pursuit of higher education at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver that he encountered the captivating realm of Japanese animation. During his tenure at the university, Chow forged connections with pivotal figures who would play instrumental roles in his anime journey, including Daisuke Suzuki, who later became an integral part of Arctic animation. As we delve deeper into Chow's narrative, we uncover the formidable challenges faced by early anime enthusiasts. In an era predating high-speed internet and digital streaming, the acquisition of anime content was nothing short of a Herculean task. Devotees of the medium were compelled to rely on physical media, predominantly VHS tapes and laser discs, to access their beloved shows, a stark contrast to the instantaneous availability enjoyed by today's fans. Communication among fans posed significant challenges in the late 80s and early 90s. Many relied on slow dial-up internet connections, turning the exchange of information and media into a time-consuming ordeal. Japanese magazines became lifelines, offering fans crucial details about new releases and upcoming shows. Exploring these relics of the past deepens our appreciation for anime fandom's evolution. What began as a struggle to merely acquire content has blossomed into a vibrant culture of merchandise, cosplay, and fan art. Join us as we continue to unravel the captivating history of anime in North America and discover how passionate enthusiasts like William Chow transformed it into the phenomenon we know today. 
To stay informed about our ongoing documentary series on the history of anime in North America, we invite our viewers to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications for future episodes. Your engagement with our content is invaluable. We encourage you to interact with our videos through likes and comments, as these actions significantly enhance our visibility on the platform, allowing us to reach a broader audience interested in the cultural impact of anime in the Western world. For those interested in supporting our research and production efforts, we have established various channels for financial contribution. Detailed information about these support options can be found in the video description below. To complement your viewing experience, we have compiled an extensive list of resources related to this documentary series, including a comprehensive episode guide categorized by topic. These materials are accessible via the links provided in the description. We also have Patreon featuring exclusive content and behind-the-scenes insights. This resource offers additional materials that enhance our documentary series, including extended interviews, archival footage, controversial content, and in-depth analyses. Furthermore, we regularly update our blog with supplementary information, addressing frequently asked questions, sharing historical anecdotes, and showcasing visual artifacts, and personal stories on the website via the links provided below.